Hi, I'm Heidi Howe of Harcourts in St Helens and welcome to our series Buying in Break a Day, which we like to think is more than a tourist video. It's about reasons why you would like to buy in our area, things you can do, employment and services that are here. Through these episodes and over our series, we're going to introduce you to some locals who've loved our area, why they've chosen to move here and what they do across many demographics. Things they probably don't touch on are the things that are behind the scenes that you won't see in a tourist brochure. Things like we have a vet, there's a retirement village here, there's also a nursing home, a chemist, news agents, the post office, as well as many allied health services that visit the area. There's a daily bus service to major centres around Tasmania, as well as a local taxi service. There's an abundance of employment here. A lot of it is not advertised and it's by who you know. There are dentists, there are schools from kindergarten to year 12. There's supermarkets. There's fuel, including LPG gas. There's a childcare centre, there's family daycare. The main thing is there is plenty to do here in Breaker Day, from Scamander to Binalong Bay, Pine Garner, St Helens, St Mary's, right through the valleys and even to Four Mile Creek. We hope you enjoy this series and enjoy meeting some of our local friends who will take you on a guided tour around why they love living here. Hi, I'm Amanda and I work for Harcourts in St Helens. I've lived in St Helens for 10 years with my husband and young family. And today I'm going to introduce you to Gary and Kate, local business owners, to talk to you about what they love about the area. Hi, I'm Gary Pannon. This is my lovely wife, Kate Pannon, and we own the local Provador here in St Helens. Uh, we've lived here for nearly 20 years and uh, really enjoy the lifestyle and the, um, the local people. Okay. Uh, we're very keen fishermen, uh, love the local fishing in the area. Uh, we've got our bay and outside offshore fishing, so all that kind of fishing, trout fishing, everything's here together. Uh, and our local food and wine scene here in the area is amazing. We've got two great um, wineries, a brewery. Uh, we've got some great produce here in the Provador, good dairy not far away from us and obviously our beef and lamb is all local here in, uh, in Tassie. Everything's grass fed, healthy and um, lovely to eat. Uh, we love the actual local community, we're a very close knit community, serve a lot of locals in our store as well as tourists. Uh, the laid back atmosphere of the town is quite unique uh, and we're not that far away from the cities, a couple of hours to Launceston, uh, easy driving, easy parking which we don't get in the city, uh, and it's just quite enjoyable little town to live in. Um, we also have great access to our local restaurants, that most of them serve local fresh food, which is a credit to them. And um, now we've probably got five or six options here in town, which is pretty good for a little town. We're very spoiled. Uh, another bonus about living in St Helens is our access to good medical. Uh, we've got a brand new hospital, we've got a great um, medical centre, got great access to allied health services through neighbourhood house here in the, in the town. So we've got all that covered, which is good to be able to access that quickly and uh, easily. Kate and I are keen walkers, so here in St Helens the walks are amazing. We've got some great bay walks, we've got some great sand dune walks. Uh, going for a drive down the coast, the ease of driving is, is so easy to slip down to a winery, uh, slip down to go for a swim down on one of the beaches or a surf. Surfing culture is very good and um, our environment to look at some of our uh, scenic drives is quite amazing and it's just on our back doorstep. So that's how lucky we are here in St Helens. Hi, my name is Jackie. I work at Harcourt St Helens. I've grown up on the east coast of Tasmania and absolutely love it. And today I'll be introducing you to my friend Savannah. Hi, my name is Savannah and I live in St Helens. I've lived here since I was 16. I'm currently working as a manager at a local little cafe. Reasons why I personally love St Helens is for the hidden little gems around the town. Places like Dora's Point, which is like a little hideaway place. It feels like you're in another part of the world. And it's just a beautiful little getaway point off the beaten track and it's just amazing. 
I also love going to places like local restaurants, such as Raiders, Naturalist, and then at night time I like going to the Casbah. I love the Casbah because it's just like a slice of Hobart, like where I grew up. It's got all these cool vibes. It's very hip. It's got a great range of drinks, great music, and everyone gets involved in this karaoke bar. Surfside's just amazing. It feels like a food truck come to life. Like, the burgers are phenomenal. The service is amazing. The drinks range is incredible. It just feels like the city has come here. The location of Surfside is incredible. It's right on the beach. You can walk over the beach while you have a beer and a burger and just watch the waves come in. So one of the other places I really love around St Helens is Pangana. It's got a lot of little hidden gems like St Columbus Falls and Holmes Falls, which have amazing little walking tracks where you can just spend the day walking and then discover this phenomenal waterfall and spend the day observing nature. Hi, I'm Jo from Harcourts in St Helens. My husband Dave and I moved here three years ago from Victoria and I'd love to introduce you to some of the young families that we've met since we've moved here and let them show you why they love living here as well. Hi, my name is Elsa. I live in Scamanda and I like going to St Helens because I like the reject shop and the op shops and riding my bike around St Helens. Hi, my name is Sophie and I live in St Helens. I like St Helens because I go to school here and I like the maths. I like St Helens because it has a beautiful bay. Hi, my name is Zoe. I, like, I live in St Helens. I like living about in St Helens because I like the trees, I like the mountain bike trails and I also like my school. Hi, my name's Joel. I live in Scamanda. I go to St Mary's School. Oh, I like riding my mountain bike on the weekends. Also, my motorbike. Yeah, it's pretty sick living here. Hi, my name is Elliot. I like living in St Helens because it has good ice cream and I like fishing in Georgia Bay. I like riding in the mountain bike trails. I also like lying on the couch. Hello, my name is Caitlin and I am in and I live in St Helens and I like making cakes with mummy and picking wildflowers and going for walks with my grandma. I like walking on the beach. I'd like to introduce you to my friends Stuart and Judy who have purchased a business in Beaumaris. They love the arts, they love the community engagement that they have. They have a lot to do with volunteering and also festivals in the area. So have a listen to why they love living here in Break It Hi, I'm Stuart Muir, and this is my wife Judy. Hello. And together we run and own Burmoris Beach Guest House on the east coast of Tasmania. Uh, when we came, we didn't realise that this was quite as remote as it is, but that has been such a positive. From a metropolitan Sydney, absolutely chaotic existence to a beautiful, beautiful, calm, stunning place uh, where we choose how busy we are. There is some travelling involved to get to places, but that gives you choice and excuses not to have to participate in things you may not want to participate in. It also means you can stop and look at things along the way because inevitably as you travel to Launceston, an hour and a half or an hour and three quarters, there's all the scenery of the Esk Valley and that's wonderful as it changes through the seasons too. Beautiful rolling valley to go through. Um, the, the scenery is just glorious um, and a very calming way to get to Launceston. Well, I find it calming after driving around in Sydney. One of our aims in coming to this business was to pick up and showcase Tasmania and particularly the things on the East Coast. And among the things that we found here ready-made was the flora and fauna of the East Coast of Tasmania. We were lucky enough to have this place sitting on two acres of land and historically in its recent history that was mowed regularly and that did not showcase the local um, plants and therefore the animals. 
we made the decision to allow that to regrow to see what there is. And there is an incredible diversity um, and the colours change throughout the season. We've just gone from yellow flowers to pink are coming now and there's white beyond that. Uh, and all of that is here at our doorstep to showcase Tasmania. One of the other things about living here is that there are community groups to be involved in. Uh, we joined the Chamber of Commerce because we are a small commercial business and that's been really good for making connections, but also friends. We've made lots of friends within that group and it's a lovely, it's sort of fun to go to the Chamber of Commerce. We also belong to a DAP group, which is uh, Destination Action Planning. And we've just got a small grant to start a sculpture walk along uh, one of the walking trails from St Helens out to um, Stiglitz. Our other main focus is the Bay of Fires Winter Arts Festival. Um, I'm a painter and, and printmaker and really try and encourage everybody to get involved in expressing themselves in some way. And that, that has the festival has the potential to do that. And it's fun to be involved. Um, again, another group of people that you can uh, enjoy time with and the company of. Imagine that we're driving from Launceston down to the east coast and coming along the, the Esk Valley, which is open pasture land, which is filled with colour and the diversity of the seasons from lambs and calves um, and the yellows and whites of the, of the crops. And then you get to St Mary's, which is in itself um, a community of people who have chosen to live there and who have the same sorts of interest in living off grid. And in St Mary's, there is um, at least one business that focuses entirely on whole food. It has an old community type um, hotel. Um, and a community hall and a number of festivals throughout the year, all contained within St Mary's and that gives that flavour to St Mary's. And then you come down the winding paths of St Mary's Pass and the next largest place that you reach if you're coming north along the east coast is Scamander. And it's influenced by the fact that it's at the river mouth and it's all grouped around the Scamander River flowing out into the Tasman Sea or it's around fish and chips and sitting at the beach and looking at the sand and, and watching the driftwood. And then you come a little further along and there's Bo Morris, a very small hamlet, um, again at the beachside, three kilometres of beach where if there's five people on those three kilometres, it's a crowd. And then as you move up the coast, there's lovely beaches along the way. It's quite a windy road, but they're fixing that at the moment, straightening it out a bit. And as you approach St Helens, you've got the bike trails and that's lovely if you're brave enough to go up to the top of them because once you get to the top, you've got to come back down again. Not a good, not from my perspective anyway. This, the view is stunning up there. Um, but then as you, you get further into St Helens, there are just lovely little pockets um, of places to go, lovely bays and inlets and quiet little places to contemplate or take your boat out or, and then as you go further along, there's the winery and then if you keep going through Goshen, and we will warn you, Goshen is just a road sign. There are properties there, but if you're looking for a town, it isn't. It's, it's a road sign and it's beautiful along there, but it is. Lovely green valley. Welcome to Goshen. And there and it that's is. It. That's <laughs> it. Just enjoy it as you go through. And then you get to Pine Ghana. And if you turn there, you've got the cheese factory, which is just wonderful. We love that the cows are, are self-managed. They've got these necklace things with little sensors on them that they come up to be milked when they feel like it. Like, who knew that cows would do that? My favourite bit is on their way out, they get to choose whether they have a back scratch because there is a thing with a sensor with a big brush on it which will scratch their back for them. And then further along that road, you just keep driving to the end and you find St Columba Falls. And you can't miss it, it's the end of the road. And it's just a 600 metre walk down to the most beautiful, beautiful waterfalls. There's huge tree ferns and this beautiful little bridge. It's absolutely beautiful. And I mean, believe that people have weddings down there and you can see why. Absolutely stunning, just a lovely place to go. It's a pretty good area, I think.
Thank you so much for coming on a tour of the east coast of Tasmania with our team at Harcourts, our families and our friends. We're really pleased to have shown you why we work here, why we live here and what we do on the weekends. We can't wait to see your property journey start on the east coast and when that's the time, please give us a call at Harcourts St Helens on 03 6376 2249. We look forward to seeing you on the east coast of Tasmania very soon.